Hello friends, so today I'm going to show you guys the card that I made with the Simon Says Stamp December 2016 kit. I'm going to use these two colored card stocks as well as the reindeer stamp initially. I'm going to color this in and I'm stamping it with Memento, Memento ink because I am using alcohol based markers. I'm going to be using the chameleon markers and I really enjoy these markers a lot, but I wish I would have um, colored this on my Nila, Nina Solar White cardstock versus the American cardstock. I feel like, or American Crafts cardstock, I feel like it really soaked up the alcohol and the color right into the paper, which is fine when you're blending because you can always add more, but I felt like I just had to keep adding and adding and adding the color even though it would start off dark but it eventually would just get blended out by some of that alcohol and I really really enjoy the chameleon markers I think that it was a great alternative uh, for now while I can't really afford all the Copic markers so it's able to give me a lot of different shades of brown however not buying every single shade of that brown uh, it does take some practice getting used to it, and you just have to hold it in the little blender socket, and it will get lighter and lighter. And I can show you guys um, a video more in depth if it's something that you're interested in. But I used the same brown for this whole entire reindeer, and then I just used the tip of the red, and then I'm using the green as well to kind of color in his little cute bell collar as well as his nose. I wish that I had like some gold or something for those bells. I think that that would have looked really cute but I just wanted to match it with the red and the green that I was using. So I'm going to use some Versamark ink and go ahead and stamp that little banner and then I'm going to also use a sentiment that says you light up my Christmas and then I'm going to take some zig uh, embossing powder in white and just pour that all over it and then I'm going to heat emboss it. So off camera I went ahead and die cutted this little reindeer guy with my My Favorite Things stitched heart and then I also cut out the background with the die cut that he's going to fit perfectly right in. And then I just made sure that Everything was lining up where I wanted to after I fussy cut it, the You Light Up My Christmas banner. And then I'm going to make sure that the light where you press down is right where the light is. And then the nose is going to be right where his little red reindeer nose is. Now, I really messed up the first time I did this card. So I'm going to try hard and t tell you guys, you know, the lessons learned that I had when making this. Um, the very first step is the little house that our battery is going to live in. Now, I just cut it small enough where I could make sure that the battery fit right in that little slot. And then I'm just going to start with the copper tape. So, you're going to want to make sure that the copper tape is going to your positive side. And in order to make little bends, you just kind of bend it forward and then bend it up. This took some practice, and I did originally rip it while trying to bend it. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, there were some creases. I don't have a problem with creases, but you're going to have a problem if you rip it because that is what's going to make it not connected anymore. Now, as you can see with this one, I wish I would have put this copper tape way closer to the positive copper tape because the little piece that we're going to end up connecting it to didn't reach very well. It worked as you can see in the card that I'm going to show you guys but really make sure that connection is a lot closer than what I'm showing you right now. And then I went ahead and just bent the copper tape right over that home so that when you close this little home, you're going to be able to connect the battery from the plus and the minus. And then I went ahead and took just like a rough edge. If you had a bone folder, this would be perfect. 
not a rough edge, but a straight edge. And then I really adhered this down. This is a very important step uh, to make sure that everything stays connected. So then I put the little piece, as you can see, where the positive meets the negative. And this part, I really, really, really needed to take a bone folder or my little clip that I was showing you guys and adhere that down so press down with a lot of pressure on that little area those two gold areas need to be put down very hard there's not a ton of adhesive on that little piece so making sure that it stays put is imperative and I think that that's where my card went wrong so I went ahead and took uh, some glue dots I wanted the adhesive to be pretty strong for the battery and as you can see, I was playing along, playing around with it a little bit to make sure that it was working, and then it wasn't, and then it was. And I think I should have just taken this as a sign that maybe this isn't going to work as good as I thought it was going to. Um, but the little keys that I just told you guys, like, make sure that there's no rips in your copper wire, and make sure that um, that little light piece is pressed down very hard and you shouldn't have the issue that I ended up having. So the next thing that I did is I took a ton of foam tape and I double layered it and honestly this kills me to watch this video because I had to rip all of this apart anyway so all this foam tape that I wasted was for nothing. But I ended up using foam from Walmart that I just cut a little home where my light was and it was perfect and I think a little bit more stable. But I'm really adding a ton of foam where it needs to be because you want to make sure that you can press down on that battery because if you can't do that um, where it's always just being pressed down, the battery will last probably not even until you can get the card to the person. So making sure that all of it is pressed up is important. So I went ahead and put my background down on that foam tape. And then I went ahead and put my little reindeer guy right in that slot. And I'm trying to put my You Light Up My Christmas right where um, the battery is. Because I wanted you to be able to click You Light Up My Christmas. And then his little nose will light up and then I wanted to add just a little bit more if I had a, I wish I had enamel hearts so then I wouldn't have had to take them from this little male um, doodle bug package but I wanted to add just a couple little hearts because this is a Valentine Valentine's Day oh my gosh Christmas card that my coworker is going to give her boyfriend so I kind of wanted to make it a little cutesy um, and ultimately, I loved the way that this card turned out. I'm putting it on my white card base and just using regular glue. Um, I do like using tape adhesive, but I'm actually out of it. I'm going to show you guys, though, what it ended up looking, at the, looking like at the end because shortly after, the chibi lights ended up not lighting up anymore. So I just made sure that was glued down and then I put my chameleon markers over it. Something heavy to just make sure that it ends up staying down. So I did have to rip apart the card, uh, but this is what I ended up using at the end. Instead of that red paper, I ended up using a pink heart paper, which is fine because it is kind of like a lovey Christmas card. Uh, and it does light up and it still lights up. So... Um, the chibi lights were definitely fun to play with. I'm excited that I had the opportunity to do so. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys learned from my failures and enjoyed watching this video. I'll try and make more card videos along the way and a couple more Christmas ones to come. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Bye!